opening with the king's pawn controls the center and opens up the light squared bishop and queen, often leading to sharp games. The Sicilian defense controls the d4 square with c-pawn. Nf3 develops the knight toward the center to prepare for a d4 pawn push, where the knight will recapture if black captures on d4. Nc6 helps control both the d4 square and the e5 square. Nc3 develops the knight toward the center, supports the e4 pawn and controls the d5 square. This prepares the bishop for development. The bishop is ready to be developed to an active square. This maintains the balance in material with a good trade. Recaptures. This develops a knight off its starting square, getting it into the action. The opposing knight is kicked by a pawn, and must now move or be captured. This moves the knight to safety. This activates a bishop by developing it off of its starting square. This develops a bishop off its starting square, getting it into the action. Castling gets the king to a safer square, out of the center of the board, while also developing a rook. Castling kingside tends to be safer because the king is further from the center. This develops a queen off its starting square, getting it into the action. This threatens to kick a knight. This activates a bishop by developing it off of its starting square. This prevents the opponent from being able to kick a knight. This develops a bishop off its starting square, getting it into the action. It is the last book move. This connects the rooks, which helps them coordinate together in the future. It is good. One of the best moves. It is excellent. This is not the best. It is an inaccuracy. This threatens to win a knight. There was only one good move there. This misses an opportunity to connect rooks. It is a mistake. Capturing that knight wins material. It is best. This forks multiple pieces. It is best. This leads to losing a bishop. There was only one good move in that position. This overlooks an opportunity to capture a pawn that was threatening to win material. It is a blunder. This is the way to win a bishop. It is a great move. Takes back. It is best. Capturing that pawn wins material. It is best. This moves the queen to safety. This threatens to pin a knight. It is best. This wins a bishop. This stops the opponent from being able to pin a knight. It is best. This steps away from the checking queen. It is best. Capturing that bishop wins material. It is best. Recaptures. It is best. This fights against the opposing rook for the open file. It is good. This overlooks an opportunity to offer an equal trade of pieces. It is an inaccuracy. This threatens to fork pieces. It is an inaccuracy. This offers an equal trade of pieces. It is best. After all captures, this is an equal trade. It is best. Takes back. This threatens to activate a rook by getting it to the 7th rank. It is best. This overlooks an opportunity to win a tempo by threatening a knight. It is an inaccuracy. This threatens to fork pieces. It is an inaccuracy. This misses an opportunity to double rooks on a single file. This permits the opponent to kick a knight. It is a mistake. This kicks an opposing knight. This is the only move that works. It is a great move. This move puts the knight on a safer square. This threatens to take an outpost with a knight. It is best. This attacks a rook, winning a tempo when it moves away. It is good. This ignores an opportunity to take an open file with a rook. It is a mistake. The rook is now on an open file, which helps control squares across the board. This threatens to reveal an attack on a rook. It is excellent. Right on target. It is best. This is the strongest option. It is best. This permits the opponent to activate a rook by getting it to the 7th rank. It is an inaccuracy. This gives away a free knight. This permits the opponent to capture the checking knight. It is an inaccuracy. That was a free knight. It is best. 
This is the only good move. It is a great move. Recaptures. It is best. This misses a better way to pin a knight to the king. It is an inaccuracy. This defends the attacked knight. It is best. This puts pressure on the pinned knight by adding an attacker, which is a powerful resource because a pinned piece cannot move away from the attack. This is the only move that works. It is a great move. That's an unfortunate error. It is a mistake. That knight was free for the taking. This is the start of the end game and white is winning. It is best. This evades the check from the rook. It is forced. That was a free pawn. It is best. That's a sensible reply. It is excellent. A very strong play. It is excellent. That's not a mistake, but it's not the best move either. It is good. This forks pieces by creating a simultaneous attack. It is best. The pawn is now passed because it can no longer be challenged by opposing pawns as it tries to promote. It is excellent. The rooks are coordinated and powerfully doubled on the file. It is excellent. This steps away from the checking rook. It is best. That's what I would have recommended. It is best. This evades the check from the rook. It is best. Very precise. It is best. This defends a pawn that was under attack and had no defenders. It is excellent. This doubles the rooks onto a single file which allows them to team up to create threats. It is excellent. Right on target. It is best. This steps away from the checking rook. It is best. This is the strongest option. It is best. That pawn was free for the taking. It is excellent. This evades the check from the rook. It is best. That's what I would have recommended. It is best. This evades the check from the rook. It is good. This defends the attacked pawn. It is excellent. The pawn is now adequately defended. It is excellent. This threatens to force eventual checkmate. It is excellent. Intense that was a serious game. White really outplayed black in that one. White played a bit better than black in the opening. White was a cut above black in the middle game. White outmaneuvered black in the end game.